today I'm going to read you a story, a lucky find. Are you ready? Yeah! It rained all week. By Saturday, the rain still hadn't stopped. Floppy looked miserable. He hadn't had a good walk for ages. Poor old Floppy, said Kipper. Later that day, it stopped raining, so Kipper opened the back door and looked out. He, he could see a patch of blue sky. Good boy, Floppy, said Kipper. It has stopped raining at last. Floppy put, picked up his sleeve in his mouth and gave a little whimper. I don't see who can take, take you for a walk, said Kipper. Bill and Chip were playing a game. It was hard to tell who would win. Shall we take Floppy for a walk? He asked Kipper. Not just now, said Chip. Bill and I are locked in combat. Mom and Dad were putting a good case together. Can we take Floppy for a walk? Claimed Kipper. He hasn't won. He hasn't had one for ages. We can, said Mom. Not at the moment. Head on to the garden for now. Just then, Kippa Strange Lee came to the door. Do you want to come to my house and play? asked Lee. Grandpa Chen has made some fortune cookies. Sorry, Floppy, said Kippa. No one for you at the moment. The boys loved Grandpa, Grandpa's fortune cookies. Kippa broke one open and pulled, pulled out the tiny slip of paper from inside it. It said, kind deeds are like gates, plant them often. I'd like to take Floppy for a walk, said Kipper. That would be a kind deed. Well, but he needs a walk too, said so Lee. Can we take both, both dogs out, Grandpa? That will be a kind deed. Grandpa said it was a good idea. The dogs can have a good run, he said. They went along a path that led to a dewdrop town. The boys loved go going there, and so did the dogs. It had tums and bumps, and there were bushes to hide to behind. Hide behind. It had. It was a great place to play chase. Lee and Kipper ran up a steep pump. As they reached the top, the earth suddenly slid away. The boys tumbled to the bottom. Grandpa Chen ran up to the boys. He helped them both up. Are you alright? Oh, are you alright? asked Grandpa. The the ground gave way, so we are just um, been muddy, that's all. Kipper looked at the place where the ground had slid, slid away. A black object was sticking out of the earth. What is that, Grandpa Chen? he asked. Oh goodness! Exclaimed Grandpa Chen. It might be a, it might be dangerous. Looks like a very old explosive. It was probably dropped in World War Two. We'd better get well back, Sally. Grandpa Chen phoned the police. Soon, a police car burst up. Grandpa Chen looked at the police officer. Officers to the place where the ground had slipped away. It could be an explosive, somewhat said an officer. This is a, is a job of the expert, said another officer. Meanwhile, we must not ch take any chances. We'll have to tape a, large, tape a large area. The, the other police officer the other police officer unlocked a large wheel of blue tape. It wasn't long before a disposal on it came. One of the experts went to work. Lee and Kipro were excited. Wow, so they maybe we'll see them exploded. The disposal expert come to talk to the boys. He was grinning. It isn't a job for us after all, he said. I think it's some kind of pop, but it's very old. It's an artifact and it needs a history expert. The man went over the ground with metal detectors. There are many more artifacts.
swamp under the ground. One of them said, "This could could be an ancient village or burial around." Later, a woman called Ann came in and carefully dug the pot out of the ground. She scratched, she scraped some earth from the neck. Then she peeled and found it. This is so exciting, she said. I hope there is something in, something inside interesting in it. <gasps> Gently, Anne tipped the pot off to a clock. About thirty gold coins slid out. Everyone gasped. These coins are hundreds of years old, she said excitedly. They show a Saxon, Saxon king called Leopold. He was king about 620. Kipper and Lee looked at the coins through a magnifying glass. i have never seen anything so insane. King Ebald had a big nose, laughed Kipper, and a big chin. Then a telegram crew came. We'd like to cover the story on the news this, this evening, a man said. He looked at the Kipper and Lee. Kipper and Lee, now just then tell us how you found the pot with all the old coins in it. Next, the crew spoke to the end. The boy and their grandfather did the right thing, she said. There may be more things to find. This could be a, a site of a Saxon villager on Dew Drop Down. It is very exciting. Back at home, Chip rushed, rushed up to Kipper. And guess what? He said, I'm the winner. I'd be barefoot only just. Well, you should have to come with a walk with us, said Kipper. It was fantastic. We finished a birthday, said Dad. Did you have a nice walk? asked Mom. But Kipper was bursting to tell everyone his news, but he didn't. I was, it was really interesting, said then he turned on the television. Everyone gasped when the news of the moment came. The reporter said that two boys had found a Saxon artifact. Lee told the reporter how they had found it when their grounds looked in the way. I wish we'd go into the walk now, said Buck. It would be more better than just playing a silly old computer game. Plant plant cookies like seeds, said Kipper. You will be amazed what they're what they grow into. What are you talking about? asked Biff. They had been a Saxon village on Blue Drop Down. The children were to see it. Anne was there to show them around. It's an excavation, said Anne. It means we're going to be the village was created by Dickens. It doesn't look like a village, said Chip. It looks like a pit of trenches. Saxon houses were made of wood, said Anne. So there's nothing left of, left of them, but we can tell where they have stood. This is an exciting find, said Anne. It is a gold band. It has been crumbled, but it has some Latin writing on it. It looks like one of Grandpa's fortune cookies left Lee. It was thanks to the fortune cookies we took the dogs for a walk. Lee went on. Yes, said Kipper, the fortune cookie was right. Kind deeds are like seeds. Plant them up. We planted a good deed, and you grow into finding a Saxon village. I've never made fortune cookies before, Grandpa laughed. We didn't have them in Hong Kong when I grew up. They were invented in the USA. Well, keep making them, lovely. The first ones were very lucky.